Hello people, I guess you're as excited as I am with the new release of CorelDRAW Graphics with X8 and I want to be maybe one of the first outside of Corel who actually show you one of the most visual differences uh, with uh, if you compare Coral Photo Paint X7 which you see in front of you now and Coral Photo Paint X8 and I'm going to show you uh, by first just going to show you um, that we can make some customizations in X7 to um, to the interface, which is kind of neat, isn't it? And it, it, it have helped us quite a bit, hasn't it? And um, so this is how this is what we can do, and we can change the colors um, many ways using um, the customization in um, in Coral Seven, in Coral Draw, and Coral. Photo Paint X7, but there is a difference, and I want to show you that now. So if we just go quickly over to X8, we see that it pretty much looks the same, but there are actually some major differences already. If you um, rewind back, if you like, and look at the icons, for example, in Photo Paint and and Coral Draw, you'll see that there are totally new icons to the toolbars and the property bar and all over the place. I've heard that they changed somewhere around 7,000 icons. They, yeah, they made about 7,000 new icons for the new X8 version. But there's, of course, a huge other difference um, to X8 and probably will make a lot of people very, very excited. And that, of course, is the finally dark interface and um, there's actually uh, well I'm really really excited um, and it's actually gonna help me a lot um, I'm probably gonna stay with the the light bright interface in, in Coral Raw but in photo paint in photo paint I'm actually gonna I'm already I've started working with the dark interface and because I've been beta testing X8 for a while I've uh, come accustomed to it, and what can I say? I just love it. it, it it's really wonderful. So, um, so here's a couple of things we can change from light, of course, that we we already saw, and then we have the medium. Maybe that's good for you. Or some might even want to go totally black, black being the new black. But I'm actually preferring the dark. And by choosing dark, I'll also see that. The um, custom setting here, or the default setting, which is 56 in RGB, is actually the one that I'm going to go with here. Um, and then for the desktop, I'm actually going to go black. And um, it's actually helping me a lot. I'm one of those who preview my work, my illustrations, drawings, and vector art, and designs, and what have you, uh, by clicking the F9 key on the keyboard. So for me, it's really good that it's black. Um, here's, for example, a pencil drawing that I made. And it actually comes out very, very good when I'm pressing the, um, the, F8, the F9 key. But as you also can see, now the, uh, the, the dark interface is here. And uh, what are you waiting for? Go to Corel.com or CorelRaw.com and download a trial and try it out for yourself uh, and simply enjoy and before you do that please take a moment and look at my drawing this is from past summer I was out in the countryside outside Stockholm Sweden and I stood there and the car coming here was a guy one of the farmers actually they, they, they have horses and so on so they came up and they really really wondered what I was doing there and I said hey the only thing I'm doing is drawing so you have a great day and enjoy your day wherever you are. Bye.